When it comes to RV repair and upgrades, many RV owners wonder, can I fix my RV myself? Hello, I'm Stephen Holmes, Director of Service Operations for Keystone RV Company. We know your time is valuable, and we understand the cost associated with bringing your travel trailer or your fifth wheel to your dealership for repairs. That's why as a manufacturer, we're sharing our RV Pro tips in a series of DIY RV videos for those of you that might want to tackle the simple stuff yourself. Remember to always use caution, and if at any time you are uncomfortable, please stop what you're doing and schedule an appointment with your authorized dealership. Even more importantly, never work on any safety-related items. Hi, welcome to another episode of RV Pro Tips, do it yourself. I'm Matt Arndt, and today I'm gonna to show you how to replace a fender skirt. Over time, your fender skirt may become discolored or just become damaged. Whatever your reason, today we'll show you how to replace it. Before we get started, let's take a look at where the fender skirt's mounted. In this case, it's below the floor line. In some cases, it's above the floor line. If your fender skirt's mounted above the floor line, when you go back to install the new one, you're gonna have to add more sealants to keep from any water intrusion later on down the road. Remove the fender skirt starting at the ends, removing the screws working towards the middle. With your free hand, grab the fender skirt in the middle and remove the last two screws. Take a rag and some adhesive remover and clean away any old sealant from the skirt metal. So in this situation, we have a fender skirt that had been cut for the slide out. And your new fender skirt always comes in one piece, so we'll take the old piece, lay it over the top, mark a line, and cut it from there. With our clean surface and the new fender skirt, place the new fender skirt over the skirt metal and line up the holes. Start by attaching two screws in the center to support the fender skirt. Now simply work your way toward the outside edge. Now add the screw to the bottom of the skirt center support. Once the fender skirt is attached, go ahead and add your sealant. Okay, so we've got the fender skirt reinstalled. This one's below the floor line. If it was mounted above the floor line, when we go to mount it, these screws, you would either want to put sealant on the threads of the screws when you install them, or put sealant in the hole, which would be up here in the wall, so that th the, the threads on that screw draws that sealant in and seals the hole, which is gonna keep any water out when it rains, from the road, whatever, and it'll keep your RV from getting damaged. And there you have it. If you have an idea for a DIY video you'd like to see, please leave us a comment. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and thanks for watching.